Once upon a time, in the bustling town of Receptorville, there were two rival pharmacists named Sam and Nora. They were always trying to outsmart each other and bring relief to the townsfolk in their own unique ways. Sam, the competitive pharmacist, had a mischievous grin and loved a good challenge. He specialized in creating medications that played a cutthroat game with the body's receptors. Sam knew that receptors were like locks, and drugs were like keys trying to unlock them. One day, Sam came up with a clever plan. He designed a drug that looked exactly like the natural molecules in the body that would normally bind to the receptors. It was like creating a duplicate key to fool the receptors. When Sam's drug entered the scene, it competed fiercely with the natural molecules for the limited space on the receptors. It was a wild race to see who could reach the receptors first, fighting to take control. On the other side of Receptorville, Nora had a more subtle approach. She believed in a silent decrease of receptor activity. Nora discovered that certain drugs could interact with the receptors in a sneaky manner, without engaging in a direct competition with the natural molecules. Nora's drugs worked like stealthy whisperers. Instead of racing with natural molecules and making noise, they silently attached to a different site on the receptor, causing a conformational change that decreased the receptor's activity. It was like putting a hush over the receptor, dampening its responsiveness to the natural molecules. The townsfolk of Receptorville soon experienced the effects of Sam and Nora's different approaches. They realized that competitive antagonism, as practiced by Sam, was like a cutthroat competition, where the drug fought head-to-head -head with the natural molecules for receptor occupancy. It was a battle for control, with the drug aiming to outcompete and block the receptor. On the other hand, Nora's approach of non-competitive antagonism was more subtle. Her drug silently decreased receptor activity without engaging in a direct competition. They acted like secret agents, causing a hush in the receptor's response, but without engaging in an all-out war. And so, the tale of Sam and Nora spread throughout Receptorville, teaching the townsfolk about the difference between competitive and non-competitive antagonism. They learned that sometimes it's about a fierce competition, while other times it's about a silent decrease in receptor activity. Both approaches had their own unique strategies in bringing relief and restoring balance to the town of Receptorville. In the world of pharmacology, understanding these different approaches helps medical students choose the right drugs for different situations. Whether it's a cutthroat competition or a silent modulation, the goal is always to bring relief to the townsfolk and restore harmony in the intricate world of receptors in Receptorville and beyond. And that's the tale of competitive and non-competitive antagonism. Click here to learn more about it. Also, comment on which story you want next. Meanwhile, share this one with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for joining. See you on the next adventure.